800 feet vertical curve with equal legs is provided for a highway crest vertical curve. The grade of the back tangent is 2% and the grade of the forward tangent is a negative 2%. The elevation of the point of vertical intersection or PVI is 1200 feet. What is the elevation of the point of vertical curve PVC? And two, what is the elevation of the point of vertical tangent PVT? Let's go straight to the FE handbook. Of course, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna write vertical curve, and it's gonna get you to this page under civil engineering. And you have a nice drawing here with a vertical curve and some formulas. And then the problem we are asked, what is the elevation or of the point of vertical curve PVC? And here in the FE handbook, you are told PVC is the point of vertical curvature or beginning of curve, but notice how you don't have any formula for it. So this is something that you must memorize. The formula for PVC, and I suggest you write it down next to these existing formulas so that you are able to memorize it as you work on these types of examples. So PVC is equal to PVI minus G1 multiplied by L over two. And now PVI is the point of vertical intersection and G1 is the back tangent and L is the length of curve, is this distance between PVC and PVT, the horizontal distance. Okay, so now let's write this formula down in here, in our problem here. So we said that PVC, I don't know what I'm writing so big here, okay? It's equal to PVI minus G1 parenthesis multiplied by L over two. So let's see in our example, we have PVI, what's PVI? Well, PVI is given in a problem and you're gonna see here PVI is 1200 feet. So we have this value here. Next, G1, let's see, what is G1? Well, here we're told back tangent is 2%. Going back to the FE handbook, this is the information we need. Back tangent is G1, which means it's positive. Well, actually we're told in the problem it's positive, it's 2%. So it's 2%. Or if we work in feet, we're gonna have to use 0 0.02. And then L, the length of curve given here is 800 feet. So it seems we have everything we need to solve this problem. Let's just substitute PVI is 1200 feet minus G1. We have G1 is 0 0.02 multiplied by 800 feet divided by two equals, equals. And let's see, you're gonna have 800 divided by two, which is 400, 0 0.02 multiplied. And then we have 1200 minus, And I get a value for PVC as 1192 feet. Let's see here, PVC equals two. So it says the correct answer is A, PVC equals to 1192 feet. Next, let's go to question number two, which is, what is the elevation of the point of vertical tangent? So PVT. 
So here, going back to the FE handbook, point of vertical tangency here, we are not given a formula. And this is another formula you have to memorize for your FE exam. PVT equals to PVI plus G2 parentheses multiplied by L over 2. Let's go back here. We're going to write this formula down. PVT is equal to PVI plus G2 multiplied by L over 2. Now, again, I'm going to come down here. We already discussed this. PVI is equal to 1,200 feet. Now, G2, let's come here. G2 is the forward tangent. So we are given here forward tangent is negative 2. So we're going to have minus 2% or minus 0 0.02. And then L is 800 feet. So coming back here, let's substitute. We're going to have 1,200 feet plus minus 0 0.02 multiplied by 800 divided by 2 equals... If you want to get rid of the parentheses, 1,200 feet minus 0 0.02 multiplied by 400. And if you notice, this uh, became the same equation we had in our first question. So this is going to be also 1,192 feet. So in this case, only in this case, it's not always like that. PVT is also 1192 feet. So the correct answer is A. So the main thing to remember out of this video is these two formulas that you have to memorize and are not given in the handbook. My advice is to have them written on your PDF, FE handbook file or your printed version so that every time when you work on these examples, you visually memorize them. That will be it for today. If you have any questions about this video, please leave your question in the comment section below, and I will see you next week.